Hi, and welcome to my playthrough of Half-Life 2 Lambda Fortress Extended, played as played, played as the soldier, and this is Chapter 4, Water Hazard. Right, finally we've got the airboat, and for good reason, because this stuff, can I move, can I move, can I move, there we go, is radioactive. So, watch out for that. Yep. You kind of need this. Oh well, might as well do the battle cry. <laughs> Sorry, it's very appropriate that. And also, there's look, it's there's the Gary's man, the G-man. There he is, G-man sighting. There he is. It's the, it's the guy behind Gary's mod. No, it isn't, but I think it is because of G-man, G-mod. I don't know why they find that funny, but at least I find that funny. Then I missed that up. You know I just want to jump up there. And also watch out for the zombies, because they are bad. At fighting, of course. Haha. -ha. Wait a minute. Cheers. You've done me proud, boys. Station 12, come in. Station 12, do you read? Sir, yes, sir. Yes. Done it. They don't respond. You can say yes to the radio, but they won't respond, because you're meant to be Gordon Freeman who can't talk, but... If you could talk like the soldier here can, I wish they would respond. That would be pretty funny. But I think it's meant to be more dramatic and to add effect of the fact that these, like, rebels or whatever have no hope of survival. So I'm trying to emphasize that because this was clearly meant to be a base at one point that recently got bombed because you can hear that, yeah, shelled by head crabs. So yeah. And also, there's a head crab that appears somewhere here, I think. Oh, there he is. So yeah, and also, this is where you get some good stuff to make up for the health loss from kind of rocket jump, so you're meant to move this barrel, but I just like to press it anyway because I think it's fun. Or I could just hit it. Either way works fine. I've done it. There we go. You only need to hit it once, and also you can just let this <laughs> spin to your heart's content. Anyway, I would like the good stuff. Which is some health and some ammo because I just realized that I use some of my rockets. Burn it. Also, the ammo is universal, by the way, I think. So, whenever you pick up just a standard ammo crate of, like, I don't know, a magazine or something, that counts towards the rockets and the yeah, primary and secondary, I think. Much like in Team Fortress 2, but Team Fortress 2 is sort of more universal and less specific, unlike Half Life 2, so. Oh well. Supplies. I like some supplies, and I also don't want to have pictures taken of me. No, thank you. Yep, some more health, and I think that's a grenade, but it all counts towards ammo either or, regardless of what it is. Anyway, so what you meant to do is go across here, and I think if you're lucky enough, I don't know if you can do this with the stock cricket launch. I've tried it before, but to no avail. Wait a minute. Oh. No, I don't think you can. Wait a minute. No, I don't think you can. Done it. Knock it off. As demo man, you can actually sticky jump up there, but as a soldier, I don't think you can do that because the demo man, you can just like place down like multiple sticky sticky bombs just behind it, behind the airboat. But with soldier, you can only like fire a rocket at a time. So yeah. So instead, what I like to do is. Shoot a rocket over here to get the barrels out of there. Because they're buoyant, meaning that if you place them underneath here, it will raise the ramp. So that the ramp won't go the ramp won't go down when you try and cross it with the airboat, which is nice. It looks like deal war cry, because why not? <laughs> but yeah. Oh, here they come. Incoming. Incoming. <laughs> Funny, cause I can, I can imagine Soldier just like talking in his little airboat that. Him saying incoming and stuff like that. <laughs> Spy. Oh, 
don't know why I'm spamming a bunch of these, because I think it's funny. <laughs> NPC vehicle driver. I think that's a glitch. Oh, look at that. Map changing. Went to rip and taunt. That it. <laughs> Perfectly cut. Right, I'm bringing up the big guns. Airstrike, panic attack, half the toy sheet. Because this map, or this part of the chapter is pretty intense. Trust me. Not only because when you bash into those things you lose health, we also lose health very quickly from the SMG G die SMG Metro Police, like this guy over there. I'm already down to like 115 Yeah, 155 health, which is partly my fault, but also I've had attempts where I go down to like 130, which is very bad. So yeah, in here there are Metro Police, so what I do is try and blow up everything in there with the airstrike and that should hopefully blow something up usually it does but in case it doesn't then that was just a waste of ammo good thing is infinite stock over there oh what didn't you blow up the barrel and also this man hacks in there so I better try and blow them up as soon as or use the half of Toishi because they have so little health they can just do that and that's your overhealed ease That's the reason why I picked the half Satoichi, I think it's pronounced. I find it interesting that Soldier has that, by the way. And also in here, there's the guy with a sniper rifle, which you can scare off with the rocket launcher. Or just rockets anyway. Like that. And in here, what I would like to do is get up to a Metro Police, use the panic attack, soften them up, and then use the half Satoichi. They already know that I'm here because I saw a guy starting to move. Yep, they, they're, they're on to me. Alright, come on. Alright, move away. Look out. See, they identify the rockets as like a grenade, which I find interesting. They say take cover and look out, and like that's a grenade, I think. Right. I didn't work out as I hoped, but. At least it worked. Anyway, so what you're meant to do is, you're meant to turn this valve. Just kidding, you're meant to blow this up. So it breaks that and busts open the door, which is good. What isn't good is that it triggers the alarm. So what I like to do is, whip out the panic attack and try and, I lost so much health there, it's not even funny. So what I like to do is instead is get the city scanner to be in here and hopefully I can't see. Yeah, kill it. So I can just do this. While I'm over here, just blow everything up. Everything just gets blown up like that. Ease boys. And there's a guy over there. I still need to heal up annoyingly, but the half of the toy she really did make a difference, trust me. That was like a game changer right there. Alright, there's still a guy over there, which is very annoying. Alright, I have to listen out for the door now, which is fun. And just sort of sneak up like this. Yep, peek around the corner. You know what I could do is, I could whip out the hearts of Toichi when he comes closer, like that, and that. Now I'm overhealed, I can just lay waste to everything in sight, like this. And this guy over here. Thanks for here, free health. Alright, get away from there. Alright, come on. You're not very smart when you use the hearts of Toichi, to be honest. You can just soften them up and just kill everyone just like that. Ease, boys. Alright, 
I agree, soldier. That's actually very intense, by the way. That took me multiple attempts just to beat that one part. So this is the part of the SMG, dude. So where am I meant to go now? Oh, yeah, over here. Sorry. Lost my bearings for a moment. And back in here. And better get moving, because... Yeah, they're shooting at you, which is bad. Nope, done it. Nope. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thanks for the health. Whew. And they're still shooting at me, great. There's not much you can do at the moment. Just keep pressing on and hopefully you won't lose too much health. Although this... Is it this part? Uh, not quite yet. There's a part in the airboat, which I remember is pretty, pretty bad. But no, this isn't it right now. Just smooth sailing up along, not forward, but to the right. Might not seem that way because everything blows up implying you're not meant to go that way. But no, you're meant to go across this ramp, like that, and through here. And along here, and here, while avoiding any explosives, otherwise that happens. Done it now, back up the truck, and hopefully I won't take too much damage. Oh, really? Oh, don't worry, I'm fine. That's the end of the pot, by the way, which means that I'll have full health, which is good. That's what we like to see. That's, that's me after beating that, by the way. Right, we're on part three. I like to move. There we go. Right, so I don't think... I think part three might have the part that I'm talking about. It's very bad. It's the turning point with the... More of those SMG Metro Police. I don't think this is it right here. This is just... Getting some health. Which is done by moving these concrete blocks. But what I would rather, rather, but what I would rather do is just use the rocket launcher and that will hopefully shake things out like that. There we go. Where did the thing go? And it, I think that was a bad idea. Maybe I should be messing around with that. Collecting armor again only overheals you which is pretty useless because there's no enemies anywhere near here and probably by the time you get to, well, enemies, which is the Metro Police and gunships, uh, you would have been at normal health by now which is not very helpful. Again, if I had a medic I'd be constantly overhealed but since I don't, uh, yeah. And they block off the, um, the dam here, so you better get off here. Whoa. Okay, soldier. Dude, stop it. There we go. And I think, from what I remember in normal Half-Life, this is where you get the Glock. Not Glock. You get the Glock much earlier. This is the Magnum Revolver. I'm sorry, I got my guns wrong. Then I'm going to have to break this open, which is good because it's pretty cramped in here where you get it, which is, by the way, over here. Anyway, I'm going to just slice these two up. And nice. That's been dealt with. Yeah, you pick up on that table, by the way, but it just counts towards normal ammo, so it doesn't really matter. Right. So I'll just go keep moving up along here. And preferably not get shot by the gunship, which is over there, by the way. Didn't see where it was. Oh, free man hack, thank you. That guy didn't know that would be overhealed when I did that. Which makes sense because the AI isn't meant to be, you know, trained to learn that or program. What I'm doing is just shooting them with the panic attacks that takes much less time than swinging your sword and then just swinging your sword to finish them off and get the overheal which is good. Right. Right, stop it. Right, airstrike. I'm trying to finish them off. 
Right, I'm losing quite a lot of health. That's not good. Alright, come over here, man hack. There we go. Alright, come on. Alright, this guy should be softened up. No, he wasn't. That's annoying. That guy was. And that guy was as well. I know I did hit some some dudes because the amount of damage you deal to enemies does actually show, like in Team Fortress 2. But I wasn't too sure what though. Yeah, I want to reload my guns before I progress because there's a gunship over there. Which I think I could just shoot as is. Yeah, I can. In Lambda Fortress you can shoot it, but in Half-Life 2 you cannot. You're meant to have the, the rifle on the gun on the airboat. If you don't get until I don't think it's that much later now, but I'm gonna shoot him anyway, because why not? I wonder if I could destroy it. I think I can. No, let's let's try it. Why not? I think it might be invincible, but I'm not too sure. If I was on the blue team, which is the combine, by the way, I would be able to see the health. But since I'm on the red team, which is the resistance, red for resistance, blue for combine, I cannot see his health. Not until I get killed by him. See? Ease, boys. I saw a big explosion, which is a good thing. And I think that's him defeated. Like, not quite yet. The old goal is meant to get to the rifle at the end. But you can just do this either or, because <laughs> why not? It makes it easier at the end, which is good. But I'm also kind of running out of ammo, which is not good. Done it. Yeah, I've run out of ammo for the panic attack. That wasn't very smart. Good thing, down here, there's more metric police, which I didn't know of. But that's good, because you can clutch and overheal with this half the point chi. Because the half the point chi is just nuts in this game, trust me. As you see here, it's just broken. I was playing a bit with Demo Man, the half the point chi, for a feature video. And yeah, it just breaks the game in half. Levels that you could not beat before that are just borderline impossible just become really easy. It's just an utter joke. It's 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 a it's a game changer this that half the point chi. Trust me. health, thank you. So what you meant to do is, you meant to go up here, and then use the rifle. Right, health, health, please, thank you. Sorry about that. Use the rifle here, and just meant to finish him off like that. And not get shot in the face. And you can taunt while you're doing it, because why not? Yeah! And press that, and that should open the dam. So yeah, that was pretty intense, but you can soften him up with the any gun you want, which I find pretty funny. You're not meant to a normal Half-Life, you're meant to use the rifle, but in this game you can use any weapon. And I think it's because of the fact that later on, you're meant to use rocket launch to take him down, but not every single class has access to explosive weapons. I mean, you could with Soldier, Devil Man, and the level 3 Sentry Engineer, but after that, you can on your own. Anyway, up along here. And it's just smooth sailing from here on out, which is nice. So might as well have a look at Soldier in the airboat, because <laughs> that's always a spectacle to look at. He's just sort of half inside. And that's triggered by the third person view, by the way. It's just a bit buggy. Like this. I mean, like, third person. I won't play the game like that, by the way, but just because you can doesn't mean I will. But you could if you felt like it, but, yeah. Alright. Alright, all right, boys, the gang's all here. Yeah, I don't know why this is so inconsistent. When I played this with D Demo Man, which is the first time I played this game, by the way, Attack! there was only one, but there's, like, one, two, three, four... Five, six. There's like six of them now. Which I guess is standard size for a team in Team Fortress 2, but... 
I just find it funny of how inconsistent it is. It's to a point that I thought that they should only spawn in one. But hear me out. If a player picks up, they get to ride it, but the other players get to see that there's still one available. So essentially, they take it like taking a slice of pizza, which is, I guess, one way to solve it, but... Nah. Not in this. I don't know why, but oh well. And also, I've got to mention that there are bombs coming down from the gunboat, which is not harmful, <coughs> harmful, but only annoying. So yeah. Oh, I was meant to activate... Oh. Sorry. I was meant to activate the battle cry as soon as the music kicked, and I'm sorry. I was rambling about how the, 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 the airboats are very inconsistent. Give them hell, boy. Yeah, boy. Charge. I'm very sorry about that. I can sort of ruin the moment. This would have been a very cool moment. When I did Demo Man only, which I plan to fully edit the video, by the way, it will look much better than this, trust me. I'll do a much better job. Soldier is just meant to be like a casual playthrough. Because those videos take me a while to make and they're very tiring, trust me. Oh, really? That's just disappointing, that. Oh, come on, really? I meant to go back over here. Alright, come on. Come on, soldier. Sorry, I sort of ruined the moment. I'll make up for it by doing this. <laughs> Alright, so now there are. Keep in mind, I would have lost all. If you're playing this on a multiplayer game, you would have lost all those airboats. And you'd have one, two, three, four this time. But in case there's more than four players, there is a fifth one. That's right. And it's facing the wrong way for some reason. <laughs> this isn't a thing in Half-Life because it's a single player game. But since this is sort of Team Fortress 2, which is multiplayer, this mod is meant to be like Team Fortress 2. With the, you know, the players, the mercenaries. And yeah, the whole point of Team Fortress 2 is, well, you're in a team. You're meant to pick a class with advantage and disadvantages. I pick soldier. Good thing about soldier is a soldier is a rocket launcher and a shotgun. Bad thing is is that he isn't good at much else. He's eh, I guess he is fast if you make him fast, but for the most part he has a niche to fulfill, and he fulfills that niche by just shooting dudes, I guess. Not like Gordon Freeman, but sort of like his own way, if you know what I mean. If you played the game, you'd understand what I mean, but. There's, there's not really an easy way to explain it, I'm sorry. What is easy to explain is that if you go up this ramp here, and go over here, you can go up along the higher path, and not mess it up. And I think in here there's... No, there's no enemies. I thought there would be enemies in here. But there's some armor, which is good. Or, oh, yeah. Stuff to increase armor, which is good because that only overheals you, so that's good. And also, where is this gunship gone? Oh, there it is. Stop it. Also, by the way, the gunship health regenerates to full health as soon as you switch the map, by the way, due to the way this works, which is a bit of a shame. Done it. You can take him down as in this, by the way. As any character, by the way, any class. So even if you're playing as, like, Sniper or Heavy, you can still shoot him, by the way. You don't have to be an explosive class taken down, unlike in Half-Life, where you have to use either explosive weapons or just have, like, a mounted rifle to take it down. No other guns work, but in this, any gun works, which is nice. I bet you can take him out as Scout, but I haven't tested that. I know Sniper can, for a fact, and I won't be surprised Heavy is a good job at doing that as well. A bit pyro as well, because he has the panic attack as well, which is good. Of 
Yeah, let me heal up. Alright, he's dropping bombs, that's what he's doing. And also, he's taking quite a bit of damage, which is not normal, by the way. He's not meant to take that much damage. Or any damage at all, in actual fact. But I love that he can do it either or. Even though I'm running low on ammo, which is bad. Alright, come on. Alright, make it count, soldier. Do me proud. Right. I'm trying to stand in shelter as much as I can. And I'm out of shotgun ammo, which is bad. Right, heal up. He's just dropping bombs, don't worry. So you can see in the background. Oh, oh really now? I say that, but it's not even true either. I need to heal up super quickly. This is actually faster, which I find surprising. Right, go, 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 go. Go, man, go. Done it. Alright, still dropping bombs and oh no, this comes down. Oh really? I got shot a bunch of times. Uh that's not good. But don't worry, I can just go past it anyway. I also forgot to mention that I've had an easier time with this in demo man only. And I think it's because of the fact that soldier's meant to be an offensive class and Demo is meant to be a defensive class. So yeah. So anyway. Oh, next map. Okay, nice. Making good progress, not gonna lie. Maggots. Yeah, maggots. Alright, I'm still keeping the same loadout because it's proven to be very successful. Mainly because of the fact that you can just shoot enemy gunships with the panic attack and all that. Also, check out how many there are now. One, two. Another thing you want to check out is it has a rifle. I don't know how the rifle managed to latch itself on mysteriously, but yeah, you're not meant to have it just yet, but in this part, you're meant to have the rifle on the gunboat. So yeah, you got another puzzle. You meant to, like, you know I can help it. Place a bunch of stuff on here. On this platform. To raise the ramp. But oh no, what's this? Oh no, what's this? It's not heavy enough. Because even I can stand on it and yeah. So what you're meant to do is Pardon me. What you're meant to do is go all the way up here. Like so. And from here, you can shoot this washing machine with the airstrike. And that should knock it in. This is a lot easier as Demo Man, trust me. Done it. I don't think it's possible as Soldier. Yeah, Demo Man's a lot better at doing this, trust me. Soldier's just like, eh, he tries. He tries alright, give him give him a break, he tries. Come on, really? Can't even push it in like in good old Half-Life 2. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. Push that washing machine in there. Was that a dishwasher? I don't know what that is. It could be a washing machine, dishwasher. Could be whatever you want it to be. It could be um a, a box. Anyway. So what I meant to do is go to the right here. That's where we meant to go. And along here, there should be some refugees in here, referred to as Gordon Freeman. Yeah, Freeman. No, I'm not. I thought I said yes. So essentially, they'll just talk about. Yep, combine. Greetings to the free man. 
Also some supplies, which is useful, because I keep on shooting a bunch of stuff for no reason whatsoever. Come on. Teleport Here, me. Look at this. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. This no, there we go. Damn, it's just up ahead. Eli's hideout is here. A stone's throw from the apron and nestled in the old hydro plant. But getting there, with that hunter chopper on your ass, next to impossible. Good news is, the Vortigaunt's working his magic on your airboat, so you'll have a little more firepower going forward. I think he's just finishing up now. Go on out. Yeah, he's meant to... Normal Half-Life, he's meant to attach the rifle onto the airboat, but there. it's kind of already there, so... Kind of pointless, to be honest. Oh well, just human of the devs, okay. Especially because of this mod is actually pretty good. It's a shame that it's just sort of buggy. And watch out for the barnacles. There we go. I think it killed him, but... Yeah, see what I mean about this game's a bit buggy? Because the culling wasn't very good. But at least the rifle, you can now just lay waste to him. Look at that. 3,360 damage. All on that one rifle. That's more effective than what Soldier can do. Shame it has a cooldown thing, which is annoying. So what you're meant to do is, you're meant to... Go along here. Yeah, up this ramp. Up along here. Ignore the, the guys here, they have SMGs. You can fight them if you want, but uh, just ignore them. And shoot this thing over here. I think you can shoot it. Nah, I had no luck. Sorry. I bet a kid. And more dudes SMGs over there. And I've lost quite a lot of health that. Guys throwing barrels down like in Donkey Kong. And more dudes over there. I'm already losing quite a lot of health, which is bad. But at least that's the end of the part, so that means I'll have full health, which is nice. Taunt, taunt, taunt. <laughs> Alright, so how many airboats have we got now? One, two, three, four. Only four? Well, I'm to the other two. Yeah, I can never figure out why it's... No, four, five. Sorry about that. There's five airboats. <laughs> Was it... Yeah, I think it's called airboat. I'm not too sure. Hovercraft, whatever. Also, watch out for the rocket, because they won't kill you, but they'll certainly give you motion sickness if you're sensitive to that stuff like my dad is. I don't know why I bring him up, but... Yeah, he's very sensitive to very severe stuff like that. He always complains. And also, shoot this as well. Quick, quick, quick. You can drop the car, there we go. Nice. I love doing that. Armored personal carrier. I, I love doing that. I'm sorry. And also, G-Man, not here, but over there. There he is, the G-Man. Oh, no. Don't worry, fine. I thought I bugged the game out. Don't worry, fine. And also, I'm still using the same loadout as before. Because there are some head crabs here. And a head crab zombie, as you can tell, because he's taking damage from the explosives, but not dying. There we go. Wait for it. Here they come. There they come. Right. And just lay waste all the head crabs. Also, this guy's on fire. Mmm, cooked head crab. I bet that tastes lovely. I won't be surprised that's what they eat in this universe, because I don't know if that. Whoever lived here ate a can of beans for sustenance and slept on a straight-up mattress, which I think is pretty sad. And also, you can hear something here. You can wind chimes. Wait for it. I think I might have destroyed the wind chimes. No, they're here. Where are they? I know they're here somewhere. It's meant to grab your attention because there's some good resources here. I think there's somewhere up there, I think. I don't know where exactly, but... Yeah, listen out for the wind chimes. Anyway. 
just go along to the left and right, it's just bonus. And up along here. Now watch out for the barnacles. It's funny because the way I said it made it sound like a SpongeBob swear. I know that's what they call, but it's just <laughs> I find it pretty funny. And watch out for the explosive barrels and the guys' with SMGs because quite a lot of them are around here. I don't want to lose too much health and hang around here because that's how I lose quite a lot of health like that. Watch out for the barnacle. Also, when you ram into Metro Police, it counts that as a rifle kill, which I find interesting. That's not a barnacle, by the way. Just want to point that out. I don't know how to beat this normally. Oh, oops. I don't know how to beat this normally, so what I like to do instead is... Go up along here. Get off. And then... Yep, just like that. Because the way this game works, you don't need the air bolt. Trust me. All you do is not take too much damage along here, and... The next map should be over there. That's all, really. Also, will I lose health if I change? Oh, really? But yeah, you don't need the air boat. And I'll prove to you why that is. And as you can see here, they're all back. You don't even need to bring the airboat with you. They all spawn as soon as you load the map due to the way this mod works. So you don't really need to bring it with you. You can just ditch it and it'll be back. And you're certainly going to need the airboat. Because over here... Yeah, there's the gunships again. There's something you need to... Gonna need to take down for progressing. Wait for it. Yeah, it's just standard half life two stuff, nothing new here. Just gotta shoot the it over and over, and hopefully don't get shot too much. Bombs are fine. Getting shot is not good. There we go. Wasn't too difficult. Yeah, same dude. I never liked that either. And I'm gonna have to grab some health. So don't think there's any head crabs around here. I think there are health in these ships. Crash ships, by the way. And other areas. Oh, got some. Okay, good. That's all I really needed. And also, they're just scattered around like so. Like over there, for example. Yeah, just an ammo crate just right here. Right, so in here, you need to raise this dam, I guess. You could slide through, but I'd rather take the airboat with me. It might be useful. You never know. See so if it has a right. It has a rifle after all, so why not? And through here, there are more Metro Police with SMGs. Yay! Just like what Soldier always wanted. Anyway, also there's some more in here. Ain't that fun. Half the Toy Chi. Let's go. Right, guy's gonna come out. Clutch. The reason why I'm able to get away with those, like, one hit KOs is because I soften them up beforehand. Normally it takes two sword, two sword swings, but if you can soften them up, it only takes one, so that's good. So I just want to make sure the combine know that. Um, I uh, uh, this point is mine. I don't think you can say that annoyingly. Say this though. Boys, we have a traitor. 
<laughs> what else can I say? Deploy a teleporter here. You say that though, you can't say this point is mine. I wish I wish he would say that, that'd be pretty funny. But I think he only says that when he caps points, which is annoying. You can't just say that when he feels like it. This board is mine. Also, this is broken. See? It doesn't work. And also, this is just straight up not real at all. It's just a 2D texture. So what you meant to do is you meant to go up along here and along here as well to this dam that is broken. And not pull this one, that does nothing, but pull this switch, like so. And that should open the dam, so you can get the airboat across, which is good. I'm just blowing stuff up because I can. There's no real reason to do this. No, so you can shoot the crows because, yeah, oh, I've done it. I missed every single shot. That's not even a joke either. Ah. Uh. Oh well. At least you can rocket jump up here, so that's something. I probably shouldn't be doing that because Soldier loses quite a lot of health, so maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Unless I have the rocket jumper. Of course, that's a classic. That's that's a good good weapon to have. I'm just not very good with it, that's all. And I'm usually having to deal with more than one, you know, guy. I can't just like fly in and hit him with a shovel. I'm usually dealing dealing with like five metro police shooting me out shooting at me at once and not just like one guy. I think yeah, map changing. So this is where the map changes. For the next chapter. Huzzah! So that was chapter four. Water hazard. Now the problem with water hazard is that well, the soldier gets shot like a lot. And especially that first sort of place of the dam. I really struggled. It took me like a solid hour just to beat that. But eventually I managed to pull it off with what I had. And also, I'm still a bit rusty with the soldier. I haven't quite figured him out. I'm still trying to figure out how to weapon switch and all that. Something tells me it might not make a difference, but oh well. And I also want to point out that if you're wondering what the soldier or the characters look like in those airboats, yeah, it's, it just doesn't work. It just shows the crouching animation, that's it. And it doesn't really look good. Trust me, I've seen it on other... I've, I've been on other servers more recently, and yeah, it doesn't look great when you see other players riding buggies or such, so yeah. Anyway, so that was War Tazard. Aside from those two pet peeves, it's a... This is where Soldier really sort of excels, and you really start to see his strengths and weaknesses, so that's great. And I hope this keeps up the next chapter, which is... Black Mesa East, and I soon realized that that chapter's gonna be a snooze fest, so I guess see you then.